and root account information page. Let's go! Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. This video will be a little bit different from the introduction, but it's going to relate to the Ender 3v3. Let's go check it out. Okay, I just turned on the Ender 3v3 and look at this. We got a new version. The current version is 1.2.0.46. The new version is 1.2.1. Let's go. Um, apparently, I can't go up in this, but I'm going to find this version, what they added to this new version. But from this, number six, we can see add root account information page. Let's go. Let's download this. Let's download this, explore it, and I'll talk more about this new update. So stay tuned. Let's scratch today's latest version. It's downloading. Okay, so I just found the Ender 3 v3 newest version 1.2.1. Let's take a look at the new update and see what kind of things we are getting. Optimize error 2527. For those of you that don't know what 2527 is, it's this. I have not got this error yet, but maybe it's in the software, so we don't we just don't know it. But it's this, during measurement after triggering serial port pocket loss result in incomplete motor step. Data received possible cause the access sensor data transmission anomaly. So maybe it just cannot transfer the level of data. Uh, if you know what exactly it is, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, the next one is optimized font display issue. Well, yes, let's go. So as you know, on the new touch screen on the K1 or the Ender 3v3, the font display, sometimes it's overlapping each other, so it's good that they fix that. Modify the fan motherboard logic, ooh, yes, that's good. So hopefully, hopefully the fan that keeps the motherboard cool or the power supply cool stop running when the temperature drops down. Resolve issue with Creality Print Slicer, file preview image not displaying, nice, nice. I had not got the error, but because I don't really use Creality Print, whatever. Optimize silent printing parameters configuration, nice, nice, nice. Add root, look at this, this is the most important part. Add root account information page. Let's go, they finally add root account information page. So now we can just root the printer easily without having to do all these crazy stuff in order just to get access to root. Build and G code file update. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, we will check that out. Modify configuration parameters to optimize first layer printing. Wow. They even optimize first layer printing more with the Ender 3v3. From my experience, the Ender 3v3 has a really good first layer printing. I will be making a video in a couple of days fully reviewing the Ender 3v3 that I have been using the Ender 3v3 for a week now. So stay tuned for that, and you know how to do that by subscribing to the channel. But let's continue talking about the new version for the Ender 3v3. So once you updated your Ender 3v3, it says that you need to recalibrate everything before you start printing. So I'm going to press OK. Um, I'm just going to basically do everything right now. Let's just do everything right now and see how it is. Because last time I did not do that on the K1 Max, learned this from experience. I did not do it on the K1 Max after I rooted the printer and after I updated the firmware and it was giving me trouble so now might as well take the time right now to level the Ender 3v3 and make sure that there's no problem so if you updated your Ender 3v3 make sure you follow the directions and do all the calibrations before you start printing again. We will look at the root access but not gonna do the root in this video. We will be doing that in a different video because it might be way too long and you might be bored of the video. Oh and by the way, after this Ender 3v3 has done leveling, we will go and check the bed leveling and see if it's improved or the same or does not improve at all. Okay so before this bed disappear, it's like this right now. So that's how my bed mesh looked like on the Ender 3v3 and it has a range of 0.49 so let's see if it's better after the new update and stuff like that oh no airplanes flying okay self check completed so let's take a look at the new things or new interface see what changes home page looks similar um cooling is still the same i actually want the slider to be honest the slider make it so much easier same thing same thing um, all the files. Oh, I think that's what they're talking about, right? Yeah. Um, Creality looks like it's still not fixed. <laughs> uh, you still cannot see the image. Okay, here you can see it, but here you can't. Camera, video list, camera, we don't have camera at all, AI function. Okay, we don't, we don't have any of those, it doesn't matter. System, this is the most important part, let's go. <clears throat> root account information let's go and that is pretty much it to be honest 
it's this root account information. So now we have root account information. That will be coming in a, in a different video. So stay tuned for it. And yeah, let's go and look at the bed mesh. Here we go. This is the new bed mesh for the N3B3. It seems very, very similar. But if we look here, the range has went down 0 0.02. It went from 0 0.49 to 0 0.47. It's still similar, but overall, I think it's going to be a lot better. Consider they optimized the first layer printing. So hopefully, it will even print better than what it prints now. Go ahead and save this config. Input Shipper has updated to this EI93 for X, EI56 for Y. Um, bed mesh is this. Save the config and restart. I did not even finish reading this. <laughs> um, I forgot to scroll down, so, so 9. Temperature sensor set to a minimum of negative 15 degrees Celsius to prevent machine from reporting errors due to cold condition in some area. That's nice, yeah, because sometimes if you put your printer in a cold area and it drops down to like, what, 0 degrees Celsius, it might have an error, so it's good that they set it to negative 15. Optimize UI interface operation logic, nice. Optimize other bugs. Amazing, amazing. I think that is pretty much it with this new updated version. I feel like the most important part is optimizing the error 252, fixing the font issue, modifying the motherboard fan logic, which is very nice. But the most important part is root account access. We have root access to the N3v3 now, so that is very nice. We can't do anything that we want to the printer now. Do it at your own risk because it's really dangerous if you mess up some files in there and we can now have camp and stuff like that and optimizing the first layer printing which is always nice but that is it with this video of me looking at the new update for the ender 3 v3 it's the version 1.2.1.0 okay that's the full name of it <laughs> as always keep on 3d printing i'm gonna now go and enjoy my food let's go eggs with rice amazing